I think Miami Beach has such icons as a vignette. For example, there's the vignette, let's say, of Ocean Drive. There's the vignette, let's go back to Morosopidus in the Fountain Blue. There is the multiple vignettes that were done by Roy France of the Vertical Towers, right? We did the Cadillac Hotel. The Cadillac Hotel was done by Gus Bolas and Nick Economos back in 1999. And they bought it. It was on Collins Avenue on 38th Street. And nobody wanted to go there. It's specifically not a brand hotel such as Marriott. And they came in and they flagged that as a Marriott, 250 plus keys. And that allowed us to renovate the Roy France building with the Grossman addition. It, it also gave us the money to, and the ability to separate the two, to show, because Grossman, when he built his addition, basically hid the lobby and the entrance through a breeze block system that Tom Mooney and Randall Robinson and other people in the Star Preservation Board asked us to remove and the staff and bring back Roy France original vertical tower, which is on the um, Cadillac, which is on the Versailles. Um, it's that kind of a symmetrical, tall, elegant tower red. Um, and we made that the main entry um, to the Marriott Courtyard and still is to the Cadillac Hotel, brought back the stainless steel Cadillac canopies and so forth. And the Roy France edition became the food and beverage area. And we also made an addition later on on the back. The buildings come from different DNA there, and you have, I think, an opportunity to capture a story and to recreate it and tell it, and hopefully in an eloquent fashion, and improve it and take it to the next generation. And that kind of development of architecture, whether it's Roy France, whether it's um, a Penn Coast, whether it is done by um, Morris Lapidus, that language of architecture is unique, tropical, unique, however you want to label it, right? I mean, but I think that there is a language, a lexicon of architecture that is uniquely Florida, that is uniquely Miami, that people pick on and they say, this is what Miami is about. And in the 50s and 60s, it's the Fountain Blue. In the 30s and 40s, it might have been um, France and Company. Um, a, and then it could have been somebody else in another period of time. But that language carries through, from the eyebrows to the cheese holes to the traditional vertical deco buildings, um, which are beautiful and yet very simple. And simple sometimes, most times to me, means very elegant. You can see beautiful deco examples from France to New York City, right? Um, and very complex and very detailed and very sophisticated and very ornate. And then you come here to Florida and you have them so available, so public, you can drive by, you can see so, such a great variety um, in such a short space that it really makes Florida wow, very photogenic. Um, and, and I think that's what makes Florida and Miami specifically very unique.